something to say, something to say. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21, and here's time for a quick tip. Now, I teased about this on my Facebook page, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm breaking sequence a little bit to um, you know show this little uh, tip here. But first off, this is Shirley, and you guys recognize the custom body over there. Nathan's coming by to help. But now, I'm going to mirror Jang from Ultimate RC for a second. The internet has told you that the Traxxas X01 is a one-trick pony. It can't turn, it can't go, it can't do anything. It just goes in a straight line and that's it. The internet is wrong, big time. But one of the other things the internet told you, well actually one of the things that Traxxas told you is that the X01 is a 6S car. You can only run it and only have fun with it on 6S. Well, a lot of guys have already proven that one wrong. Uh, for example, Big Tito 111, he built himself a, what I affectionately call a slash O1. You know, and uh, similar to actually almost identical to the to the slash based rolling chassis that I put on eBay a little while ago. But this right here, this is all X01. This is pure X01. But if you notice over here, I've got a 5400 milliamp power 20C 3S battery in it, and that's it. So this guy is running on 3S LiPo. Here you can see the voltage. You know, it started off. You know, right now there's that 11 volts. I pulled out over 100 amps on it and dip down to nine volts you know so it's this 1650 uh motor or this attracts this sorry actually it's castle 1717 1650 kv motor you know with the speed gear you know running on 3s actually gives you decent parking lot speeds and it's a hoot this thing is a blast now you also notice that i'm not running stock uh x01 tires on this thing these, uh, I've talked about this before, these are some $20 tires I picked up on eBay. I paying them silver because I like that finish better. But these guys are nice. They are very well balanced, very good gripping, fun tire. And this 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 tire woke up this chassis. Now these aren't, I'm out of them. I uh, use my Gorilla Tape tip on here so that they don't balloon. Uh, but other than, and then, you know, just use quality tire glue. But other than that, you know, there's, uh, you know, these tires on this platform, you know, just made this car just a really awesome parking lot basher. Okay, so where's quick tip? Well, I teased, how do you run this thing on 3S? Because the by stock, the X01s come with a Y connector. Now, as you see, I have, uh, well, I already just gave away my tip here. Um, I replaced my connectors with castle connectors because this car has very high aspirations for speed goals. But, you know, I just, on a goof, I decided I want to do some testing on 3S. How do I do that? The simple thing is you just make yourself a jumper. Now, all you need to do is get yourself, um, get yourself a male connector for whatever battery connectors you like to use. I'm using Castle. And you just go ahead and solder up a little jumper wire in here. So you just go one to the other. And that's it. You put this guy in line. And now it allows you, well, basically just caps this connection off so that you can run this as a 3s configuration and it's there's nothing wrong with doing that it's perfectly legit it's good electrically i use quality wire so you know this is it, this is a very simple thing that will allow you to get more utility in my opinion out of this vehicle um because again for whatever reason i mean i know how why they did it you know tracks is you know they built this thing as being you know the king of the speed cars and it's a good quality platform i really like the engineering of it i like how it's put together um but honestly it's i'm figuring out that this thing is really tuned for, uh, for more um what i call parking lot bashing than uh, other stuff and that's primarily because if you think about it you know, it's from talking to my local art my local hobby sh shop you know, I went there trying to unlock the ESC because this ESC is still locked and I don't have any Apple products. And, you know, so I'm kind of screwed from that regard. Uh, I've got a buddy who uh, has offered to unlock it for me. But, um, but anyway, the point I'm getting to is that apparently most of the people who, or a large fraction of the people who are running X01s never unlock it. So they're just running it on half power. So why would you buy a... a uh, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar RC running on a half power if it wasn't a whole lot of fun out of the box. Yeah, honestly, most people aren't speedrunners, most people don't have the facilities 
to allow them to get to 100 miles an hour with one of these guys. And quite frankly, it takes a little bit of guts and a little bit of craziness in order to even attempt to put, you know, a roughly thousand dollar investment, you know, in jeopardy like that. However, you know, some of us have a crazy gene and we're just, you know, we, we, we like to push the envelope. So this car, like I said, has high aspirations, but you know, for right now, I'm really impressed at the fact that it can do some pretty low end, uh, some low end grunge duty too, and be a really fun platform. All right, guys. So quick tip, make yourself a jumper wire, run these guys on 3S, get yourself some basher tires, and you will compl it will completely change how you view this car. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and always remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, do it all over again. Our House 21 signing out. Don't forget to check me out on social media. That's Facebook and Instagram and you know, all the other places you can find me. And you guys take care. And like I said, remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Peace.